down though. I'm just uh, about to pack it in for the evening. It's quite a long day, quite tired. And I uh, wanted to have a sip of water and uh, hydrate. And uh, spent a fair amount of the day uh, washing dishes, hands in the water reaching the hands and the arms in the water near the culvert, standing in the water a few times up to here, uh, clearing out the zebras, uh, <laughs> clearing out the beavers doings, and uh, yeah, here I need to hydrate before bed, <laughs> so uh, Spent a little bit of time today <clears throat> watching uh, the water recede from the level of the ice that it formed. So then the ice is kind of a floating plane on a crystalline substrate above the liquid water. And then when the rain began to come, I think I'm quite tired. When the rain began to fall, began to break the plane of the, the liquid falling water was breaking the solid, unmoving water, causing it to fall to the earth. It was a very interesting <clears throat> few minutes there. Often people think of water and they think, well, what water is is just the quality of flowing and changing. Hey there, buddy. How you doing? Yeah. And this is somebody who just walking back from having a sip of water. Yeah, I heard you over there having a sip of water. We were just talking about water. Yeah. <clears throat> you going to stretch out a little? Good to see you. And uh, he's heading to bed, and he was just hydrating. <laughs> so often I think uh, people that think about the metaphor of water get what I think is an appropriate sense of water being a metaphor for flow and a teacher of flow. But I think oftentimes people stop right there. And they forget that water is gaseous and Water is within the living. Doesn't always exist as an apparent homogeneous substance. Water is solid, crystalline. Uh, water is a part of many other um, things. You know, just even a piece of lumber has water in it. metaphor that you draw from water when you consider it for your meditation or your practice at least at a given time you know, I, I didn't ask what is the correct metaphor and just which aspect are you tuned to for your practice So over the course of this glass of water, I'm just going to ruminate and contemplate different aspects and try and take those in, literally taking the water in and uh, using it as a mental guide to take in that aspect. And do my awareness.
compressibility of water. Thinking through water in the whooshing sense, in the TCM sense, thinking of the kidneys, for example, as a water phase related organ system. Seven here. It rained quite a bit today. Nick I went through I think three pairs of shoes. Getting the soap to putting on dryer shoes. And still needing to go back outside. Went through four or five uh, outerwear uh, whatever's couple different hats needing to go back outside before the things had dried. In the, the water finger is notable in many mudra that are water related. So I'm just going to do a little meditation now. On the presence of the water in my system and all of the aspects of that water present in the system. I settle in on the most apparent or vital, necessary, or urgent aspect. I can enter into a more intentionally directed meditation or practice uh, regarding that aspect. This was just uh, almost a, a supplicating or devotional practice towards the concept of water, just to see what that would bring. So that's the kind of meditation that's likely to uh, have just now provided some insights or uh, shored up some understandings and thereby influence future practices, not this particular one. So perhaps that's done the same with you and for you. I'm going to go to sleep. <laughs>